And here is the final artwork of Tanuki Mario the Trash Panda. This is my light pad. Her name is Sunny. Hi, I'm Sunny. And she helped me to transform a good drawing into a great one. It all started a couple days ago when I drew this. Now, for a sketch, I wouldn't say this was terrible, but it certainly needed some improvements. The problem was, at the time, I thought it was the best I could do. That's when I met Sunny, and she told me, Michael, you have the same abilities at your disposal as any other digital artist. What you need is to experience the mysterious power of revision. And she began to show me how my good drawing could become a great one in just three steps. Step one, get a light pad. There are so many types of these out there. In this video, I used this light pad by the brand ME456. It's a nice little lightweight, inexpensive unit, and it's big enough to hold a full sheet of paper. This model comes in black, blue, red, white, or yellow. I provided a link for you below if you wanna pick one up for yourself. All right, once I had my light pad, I moved on to step two. Step two, create a revised rough. Okay, so here's where the elements of the drawing begin to tighten up and take shape. First, I had to tape down my sketch and then tape a clean sheet of paper on top of that. Now, it might look like I'm just mindlessly duplicating my previous sketch, but there's more at work here. Listen to this wise advice Sonny gave me about the revised rough. As you examine your rough sketch, pick out a section of the drawing and focus on a single line. Does this line help or hinder the drawing? If it looks good, just trace over it. If it can be better, then make the change and move on to the next line. So I noticed many things that I could change for the better. The shape of his left hand, the position of the trash bag, the way the trash can tapers down, the way his eyes sit on top of his nose. Here's my revised rough next to my initial sketch. Sonny, the difference between these drawings is so easy to see. Michael, I can see you're starting to believe in the power of revision. I hope you can trust me because I'm gonna ask you to do it one more time. Okay, I trust you. Good, step three is to revise again. This is similar to step two, but for this revision, you'll focus on the line thickness and adding details. But first, you'll need to scale up your rough so you can get surgical. Thanks, Sonny. I'm really fortunate to have a printer copier with the ability to scale up my drawing right here in the lab. If you don't have a printer like this, a local copy shop or library can easily do this for you. So once again, I taped down my rough, one more clean sheet of paper, and got to work. When you work at a larger scale like this, the added real estate gives you more liberty to make changes that you couldn't before, especially areas like the brim of Mario's hat where a lot of lines are crossing over each other. I also bulked up his chin here to make him look a little less like Luigi. Here at the last minute, I decided to give him a chicken leg and a messy mouth. I like to be very intentional about my line thickness. I usually add thick lines around the important elements. The details which are on the inside, like Mario's pockets, are going to be thinner lines. The same goes for secondary elements, like the trash bag in the background or the bricks on the wall. I can't believe how amazing this turned out. Next, I'm gonna show you the final illustration, including color, shading, and highlights. But before I do, let's recap on what we've learned. Step one, get a hold of a light pad like myself to harness the power of revision. Step two, use your light pad to create a revised rough, which is an improved version of your rough sketch. And step three, create another revision at a larger scale, adding more details and define important elements of your drawing using varying line thicknesses. And here is the final artwork of Tanuki Mario, the Trash Panda. Friends, I hope you learned something new today. I'd love to see your before and after drawings on social. Use the hashtag smalltowncreative so I can see what you came up with. The goal of my channel is to help you survive and thrive in your journey as an independent artist. I'd love to have you join my tribe. All you have to do is click subscribe and ding the notification bell. If you like this video, please let me know by clicking that thumbs up. Check out the description for helpful resources, and I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.